Hi, Ben here, M7 FRS, and in this video, I'm gonna try and help you decide which firmware to flash to your Quansheng UV5R, UVK5, K6, or any similar variant. So the first option we've got then is to stick with the firmware which the radio came with uh, directly out of the box. The advantage to this is going to be that the instructions will be correct and the uh, menu information will be uh, in the right order. The radio will still have the ability to receive between 50 and 600 megahertz on FM as well as transmit between 136 and 174 megahertz on VHF and 400 to 470 megahertz FM on the UHF band. Uh, of course, it will still receive uh, AM airband, but perhaps just not as well as some of the modified firmware. So currently, the two main modded firmwares are EG Zoomer, which is shown on the Quansheng UV5R, just to the left of the screen here, and IJV Mod, which is shown on the UVK58 on the right-hand side of the screen. So first of all, we'll notice there's some subtle differences between uh, each firmware and how things are displayed on the screen. For example, on uh, on EG Zoomer, which is displayed on the radio on the left here, looking about the top and bottom VFOs, uh, you'll see there's a little arrow. And if I change between uh, A and B, we can see the arrow moves between the bottom VFO or the top VFO. Uh, on the UV mods version, again, you'll see that the uh, there's no little arrow this time. It just highlights the uh, the VFO. So again, that's a personal preference as to whether you prefer the highlighted VFO or the arrow. Personally, I prefer the uh, the little arrow. It's a little bit more obvious to me. The second difference I've noticed on here is um, the way things are displayed. So on the left hand side of the screen, under the frequency it will show you high medium or low power on eg zoomer and then whether you're in uh, narrow or wide uh, this the opposite way around on uh, uv mods so you've got your narrow and wide on to the left and then uh, to the right just shows you whether you're uh, in high medium or low power uh, another thing just on there you'll notice that if we're in fm on ijv mods it will display as fm that will change to AM or DSB for double sideband uh, whereas on the EG Zoomer one if you're in FM you don't get anything displayed at all it will show if we change to AM uh, and if we change to upper sideband it will say USB another thing we notice also is on the EG Zoomer uh, version you can change your battery display to either show percentage voltage or bars or both um, whereas on the IJV mod um, we've just got a little uh, standard battery indicator. Not a big issue, but uh, personally, I prefer to see uh, the um, percentage there. So again, it's all about personal preference with these. So another thing we'll notice, if we go into the menu mode, so I'll press the menu button on both radios simultaneously, we'll see that the functions are actually slightly different in the way they're laid out. So function one, or menu one, is the step on EG Zoomer. And it's actually the squelch on the IJV mods uh, version. As we go through, you'll see EG Zoomer menu two is TX power, whereas it's the step on IJV mods uh, menu three. IJV mods, we can switch between modes. So we can switch between um, FM, we can switch between AM or DSB for double sideband. Um, on the EG Zoomer one, again, it's probably closer to the original software or the original firmware rather um, but i think on uh, the ijv mods is actually slightly more user friendly it's probably got the, the more used uh, functions closer to uh, when you press the menu key for example like i say one is your your squelch which is going to get used fairly often uh, your step you might want to change the mode uh, and your bandwidth as well which is useful um, just on the bandwidth, whilst we're on there, again, that's a slight difference between the EG Zoomer and um, IJV mods. Uh, if we go into bandwidth, I'll press menu, you can see we can switch between narrow, wide, wide plus, 
and narrow minus on your band whip. So that's an extra thing that you don't have on uh, EG Zuma. So actually on EG Zuma we have to go right down to uh, menu 9 to find band width and I say all we've got there is narrow and wide, there's no other options. So again that's a slight advantage on the uh, IJV mods when it comes to the band width. So I'm not going to go through all the differences in the menu because that would make for a long video and if you want to look at the EG Zuma menus then uh, click on one of my previous videos and that's described there. There's also some slight differences in the ways that the keys uh, behave on, on each uh, version of firmware. For example, if we press uh, key 1, which is band, on uh, EG Zuma radio, you'll see it puts us directly into the uh, VFO mode, and we can press band again, and it scrolls through the various different preset bands. And then to get back to memory mode again, just press uh, button three and hold, and I'll take us back to our memory mode. Again, it's different with the IJV mods. If I press band, I'll press button one to change the band. You'll notice nothing happens. We have to physically use the uh, the function key and then one just to to get to that. In fact, you have to even be in VFO mode. So we need to press and hold VFO. There we go. Um, is it function? No, yep, so let's exit that. So we still need to press the function key and then band. Again, you can see it's not as user friendly because it's not letting me exit that now. Here we go, exit. Um, right, we're in VFO mode, function, band, there we go. If I press it again, yeah, it's going to start changing the numbers. So again, maybe a little bit glitchy with the uh, IJV mods, not as user friendly. It's gone back after we've left it a few seconds. So again, to change bands, you've got to keep pressing function, then band, function, and then band. A little bit clunky, to be honest, uh, I find that one. Again, preference for me would be the EG Zuma version when it comes to switching bands uh, in the VFO mode. Another slight difference I noticed, if we press the scan button on the EG Zuma one, press and hold, the scan starts on the top VFO. You can see that scanning through there. Um, whereas if we press and hold scan on the uh, IJV mods, you'll notice the scan starts on the bottom VFO. VFO. It doesn't really matter too much. It's just something to be uh, be aware of. Both EG Zuma and IJV mods, you can uh, access the frequency scanner. Uh, again, press and hold key four puts the frequency scanner on on the EG Zuma one. I think if we press and hold it, yep, nothing happens again. We need to press the function button uh, and then for to access the uh, frequency scan. They're doing the same thing, but you can see again, they're just the display is slightly different. You've got the little dots coming up. Um, I'm not sure whether EG Zuma does have the DCS scan. I think it does, but uh, it's just not showing it on there, whereas uh, it does actually physically show it on uh, RJV mod. But if you know any different, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. One of the advantages that EG Zuma has over IJV mod is that when you press uh, function and five, it gives you that band scope and then you can push it into uh, RX mode and then you can uh, change some of the uh, change some of the settings in there if you want to. Um, there you go and you can up and down on the on the settings in there. Um, that's something that isn't featured on the uh, IJV mod. If I press function and five, like I say, it's uh, it's not an option on there uh, on that one. What pressing and holding the five button does, however, do on IJV mod is switch between the um, the bandwidths. So that's narrow uh, minus, so your your narrowest bandwidth. Uh, we press it again. You'll see that's the uh, uh, extra wide with a plus. Press it again, that's wide, and then back to narrow again. Okay, so this is the one everyone seems to be interested in then. What bands and modes will both of these firmwares transmit and receive in? So first of all, EG Zuma and IJV Mod will both receive from 18 MHz right up to the 23 SEMS. Uh, for this demonstration, I've fitted a uh, dummy load onto the uh, radio that's 
loaded with uh, EG Zoomer. And I've gone into the hidden menu by pressing and holding the PTT and key one whilst rotating the on off knob. And uh, we've uh, gone into the F lock and we've unlocked it so it will transmit out of band. Uh, but like I said before, it's uh, recommended that you don't do this because it's going to cause harmonics. And like I say, we're uh, into a dummy load just for this uh, experiment. I've got um, the same CB channel up on the IJV mod firmware radio and um, there you go we're on FM and uh, you can see that it's uh, although we're through a, a dummy load it is uh, receiving it just on the uh, on the radio next to it um, other way round then uh, again this is on FM I haven't fitted a dummy load because I know that if I push the push to talk even with the F lock unlocked on uh, the uh, IJV mod uh, radio it will not let you transmit um, in the uh, in the CB bands uh, which is only a good thing because uh, like I said we're going to cause problems otherwise so you can see it says ticks disable um, so it's not going to transmit in the uh, CB band using uh, IJV mod okay so I've swapped the dummy load over onto the IJV modded uh, handheld and we're on a 4 meter or 70 megahertz frequency now uh, we're on FM and uh, I'm going to transmit on the uh, on, on the one with the dummy load. So there you go. You can see that's definitely transmitting. Again, dummy load because, like with the CB frequencies, uh, we're going to cause harmful harmonics. So uh, I certainly wouldn't want to be uh, transmitting on anything outside of 100 or anything below 137 megahertz. These radios are only designed to transmit between 137 and uh, what 174, I think it is. Uh, and 400 and 470 megs. So anything outside of that, we're going to cause harmful harmonics. But like I say, just for testing purposes, you can see it will actually work on there, on that one. Uh, we'll do the same again for for six meters. So uh, I've got a six meter frequency programmed in there. You can see on both of them. Uh, same again. We can transmit and uh, in, with a dummy load. Uh, it will work the other way. I'm not going to because um, and we've got the antenna on there. But again, with the uh, EG Zoomer uh, firmware that will transmit um, on those frequencies, but like I say, please don't. One slight advantage with the IJV mod uh, firmware is that if we go into VFO mode on both of these now, hopefully, yep, yeah, they're both on. Uh, they're both on two meters um, uh, SSB or SB for um, sideband. Uh, it's actually double sideband on. Uh, on this uh, IJV modded radio, uh, on the EG Zoomer uh, software, it'll say uh, USB. But you can see we're both on uh, uh, we're both on sideband, both on the same frequency. If I transmit on the uh, IJV mod, there you go. You see we're getting a signal there. Uh, if I try the other way, again we've got a, an antenna on this, but we're going to try the other way. We'll get TX disable. Um, EG Zima will only let you transmit on FM. It won't let you transmit on any other mode. Um, IJV mod, however, will let you transmit on uh, double sideband or uh, AM. So if I can remember how to change the mode, I think we can do it through the menu. Where was it? There we go, mode. Uh, let's go to AM. And we'll put it on AM mode. We'll exit that. We'll change the mode on uh the eg zoomer one and we have to scroll down quite a long way in the menu to menu 13 uh, and then we're going to change that to am and then exit uh, so now they're both on am both on the same frequency however uh, i'll turn the volume up on this one so notice there's no feedback there and you can't hear me so although it thinks it's transmitting on uh, on am uh, via the ijv mod um there is no audio so again perhaps another little glitch but uh, probably not all that useful and finally then if we compare airband on both uh, IJV mod and EG zoomer i've done some comparisons with these i've had them running side by side on our same on the same frequencies for uh, a couple of local airports and uh, to be honest, I couldn't notice any difference whatsoever in the audio or the signal strength between uh, 
uh, either of them. I know they're different radios. One's the uh, uh, UV5R and the other one is the um, <coughs> UVK5. Uh, but like I said, there's there's very little difference. It's probably better than the original stock firmware out of the uh, out of the box, um, but they both work reasonably well on uh, on airband. Another question that gets asked is on the power up, can you change the boot screen? Well, you can see that's the standard boot screens. Um, but yeah, it is possible on the EG Zoomer one to change it to uh, show your call sign or any other message that you want it to. Uh, it doesn't seem to work on the uh, IJV mods. So the way to do that then is if we open up Chirp, we'll go to File, we'll open up my uh, Chirp file. We're then going to go into Settings. And then right at the bottom here, you can see we've got logo strings one and two. So the first one says welcome. So we're going to change that to my call sign. And then we'll add something in the bottom one as well. And then we're going to flash that to the radio. So first of all, let's try that on the EG Zuma radio. So you can see when we uh, when we switch that on, we'll get a nice message. And let's try the same with the IJV mod radio and see if uh, if it'll let us do it on that one. So same again. Let's go radio uh, upload to radio. It'll ask us some questions. Okay, okay. There you go, CC on IJV mod. Uh, doesn't matter what we've got written down here, uh, it doesn't let us uh, do it. So, hopefully, that's helped a few of you decide between either EG Zoomer. IJV mod or even the standard stock firmware. There is currently others out there in development, such as the uh, Fadji, I think it is, Reborn, uh, and a few others. Uh, so hopefully in the future we'll be able to do some further testing videos uh, using the Tiny SA. So stay tuned for that. If you remember to uh, hit the like and subscribe button and the bell for notifications, we'll see you on the next one. 73.